Hi, I'm Joel Crawford, the director of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And I'm Janiel Mercado, co-director of Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. And today we're gonna share with you some deleted scenes from the movie. Now in the movie, sometimes you need to cut out scenes that just don't quite work. And it's not because they're not good or not funny. A lot of times they are very funny. But they're just not the right puzzle piece in the big picture. But what's great is we keep them, we don't delete them. Fortunately, they find a new home here in these special features. This first scene we'd like to share with you, this scene was intended to show how both Puss and Kitty will manipulate each other to try and get what they want, and more importantly, manipulate the innocent dog who's the holder of the map. And I think you'll find it's a very sophisticated approach, um, very highbrow, and maybe that was the problem. We call this scene the peeing scene. Enjoy. You know, for a dark forest, this place has a very rich color palette. Okay, Pedro, let's take a look at that map. Uh, it's been a long road trip. I gotta go wee wee. Uh, I too have to go wee wee. I'm a little cheaper, short and stout. This is my handle. This... Ah! Hey, Pedro, what say you, me, and the map teach Kitty, eh? Mm. Ah. Ah. What a relief, huh, fellas? <laughs> hey, dog. What say you, me, and the map, ditch puss? Uh, hey, kitty. What did you say to him? <gasps> Nothing. What did you say to him? Chit chat, small talk. What? You don't trust me? No, I don't. Not the least little smidgen. Come on, kitty. Trust me. Every movie should have a montage. And we cut one out. The purpose of the scene was to set up the rules of the forest. The forest is magical and will prevent whoever doesn't hold the map from getting to the wishing star. Fortunately for Puss and Kitty and Dog, they have the map and the forest lets them just casually stroll through. Another cool thing about this particular scene is that there's actually a lot of early ideas that were found in the scene that we expanded into individual scenes in the final film of the movie. Kind of planted the seed for better sequences. Dog trying to learn the big guys, a moment with the characters on a romantic gondola type ride that became its own sequence in the final version of the film too. So we hope you enjoy what we call the love and death montage. This is going to be a gauntlet of pain and death. This is going to be fun and easy. <laughs> Am I doing it? <laughs> Bring the tank. Sometimes we delete scenes because we make big story changes. In what you're about to see, we had tried something where Puss in Boots had earned Kitty Softpaw's trust and Perito's trust. And while they're sleeping, he snuck away with a map. With the rules of the map, whoever holds it has a specific path. And Dog's path is the only easy one. So now that Puss has stolen it, you'll see here the tough obstacles that appear before him. It just felt wrong that he straight up just 
snuck away and stole it. You're like, yeah. ah, I don't know if I like that guy. In this scene, we also see Perito challenge Puss and really kind of tell Puss he's better than this. That evolved into something really wonderful in the end version as well. And so these ideas always, I think, become the best version of themselves in the final cut. There's still something I love about this sequence because Puss had this horrible path. Every icon on the map was a horrible location. And the last one he would have to go through was Wall O' Snakes, which he doesn't even know what that means, but he sure finds out in this scene called The Wall O' Snakes. Snakes. How could I forget? I can't believe it. You're actually stealing the map? Pero, go back to camp. No. Shoo! Go on. Go get the stick. Puss, I'm not a legend or a hero slash outlaw or anything amazing like that. But stealing that map? That's wrong. She wants to share her private island with you. No. She wants to share it with Puss in Boots. Kitty Softpaws is an extraordinary cat. She deserves a legend. And without those lives, Pero, I am no legend. I am not Puss in Boots. I'm... I'm... A pickles. Tell her the truth. Give her a chance. Puss, this is wrong. Maybe it is wrong. But I will have nine lives to make it up to her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to climb this very literal and terrifying Wallow snakes. You know, I'm second off, Pero. You've convinced me. I'm so happy you've come to your senses. I think this is a really bad idea. No, Pero. It is a very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 